Did you feel that? Hmm. There it is again. Uh oh. Ah! Oh no. Oh Jesus. Uh, oh god. We better find higher ground. Wow. Well, shit. Uh, <laughs> hey, welcome in, Bandu. Perfect time. The world is, I guess, ending, question mark. Damn. It is. Okay, that's not amazing. But graphically, it's amazing. Well, crap. I think I bought everything they had before the shops all sank. Hope they have house insurance? Yeah. Uh, well, I can already see it now. The next town over is going to be like new beachside uh, properties up for sale. Cheap. <laughs> Man, that is rough. What even cost that though? It's the end of Kirk. You know, lady, I'm not much of a doomsayer, but I hate to say it, I think you're right. Like, there's nothing left of this town. It is gone. Aww. Wow. Thank God I managed to save all my limited edition Ken Me comics. The PTSD these people are gonna have, yeah, for real. Um, yeah. Kettle, you're all right. Hey, lady. The fact that he keeps calling her lady. Where are your friends? Oh no. I could only find one of them. Oh. What about your mother? Is she safe? Oh, uh, Reyna, please. The lady of the house was out of town when the earthquake struck. She should be fine. That's good to hear. Hey, lady. Yes? I'm glad you're okay, too. Aww. Well, thank you. Has anyone seen my husband? Oh, man. You would have thought Raina would have had a little more sensitivity. But I guess she wouldn't have known. That earthquake killed my entire crew. It's a miracle I survived. I managed to survive. Jeez. Oh, thank heavens you're safe, Captain. Yeah, nothing short of a miracle, actually. But my crew's gone, uh, save for that guy over there. <laughs> that was quite a shock, I have to say. That bizarre wind and then that horrible rumbling. So what are you going to do now? A whole lot of nothing is what I'm going to do. Can't do <laughs> much without a ship. Right? Come on, Reyna. That should have been really obvious. Let me give you a word of advice, though. You know I'm not the only way to get to L, right? You're not? Nope. First off, let me give you your royal travel permit back. 
Thank God that didn't get lost. Although I guess it wasn't that hard to get, but still. Now take that permit with you to the Lacour continent. If you ask the king over there nicely, I bet he can arrange for a ship to take you to L. Lacour? Kind of out of your way, I know. But if you ask me, that's your best bet. You'll need to go through Harley first, though. That's a port city on the eastern edge of Cross. To Harley first, then. You'll know you're going the right way if you see a village called Mars. Korok's kind of out of the picture right now, so Mars is going to be the best place to stock up and get a good night's sleep before the voyage. Mars, okay. You still seriously want to go to L after all this? You guys must be crazy. Is that supposed to indicate that they're connected somehow? Man, oh man, that was awful. I gotta say, going back to my childhood playing this game, this shocked me. This is the first RPG that I got to actually see an event like this happen, where like the map is forever changed in this way. Alright, now we make the long journey this way. Oh. Oh, actually. Let me change some real quick here. I wanna give you I wanna give him the uh, talisman for improving the uh, bodyguard trigger. Yeah, there we go. I think just one's fine, actually. Okay. Just trying to test it out to see if it does actually affect it, but it doesn't really seem to. Or at least not yet. This world is so freaking pretty, though. Okay. So Claude cannot instant move. Hey! Nice! I leveled up from... Not even fighting. Heck yeah. Alright, let's 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 do some fighting real quick. The enemy is it? Be careful! I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slime's almost to a level. Nice. Uh, what is it for the map? Is it... No. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the button was. That one, that one, no. What the heck was the button for the map? I thought... Oh, right, it's on a hotkey here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Mars is where we gotta go. Uh, there are no more private actions to get right now. So we're doing good on that. Okay. Well, fortunately, we've already been to Mars, so we actually could just fast travel. So, let us do that. Zoom! And also save while we're here. Nice. 
Reyna has some more to work with here. I forgot to inc increase this. Uh, none of that's useful for Claude. Also not that important. Uh, yes, do one that. Okay, cool. Mother, what is going on here? Actually, we're not entirely sure of that ourselves. Have a seat, though, as we were just about to begin. We are facing the greatest crisis in the history of Mars. Elder, we are still unaware of the events that led up to this situation. Could you kindly fill us in? Please, allow me to explain. Yes, Father. Sometime last evening, every child in the village simply vanished, as if what? they were rubbed out of existence. As we scrambled to form a search party, this man here came back from the Forest of Symbols with a disturbing message. Oh no. I was by myself in the forest at the time, uh, practicing my symbology. Then all of a sudden, a bandit appeared before me. I steeled myself for battle, but he simply stood there and told me this before he disappeared into the woods. Our boss has your children. If you want them back, bring us 500,000 mm. foal and the secret book. What's this secret book he's talking about? God, you can't just ask that. We cannot reveal specifics, but it is a book that describes the unique form of symbology passed down through the generations in this village. When we heard the story, we were all at a loss as to what to do. Not only did we learn that our children were kidnapped, but that bandits were encroaching on the Forest of Symbols. The forest has been protected for ages by holy symbols etched into the land itself, repulsing the wicked and evil-hearted. If they have broken through that barrier, then we must face a dire reality. Our enemy is more powerful than any that has come before. But the children, are they safe? Hmm. According to a second messenger, the children are being held by the bandits deep inside the forest. He said that until we fulfill their demands, they'll stay exactly where they are. We don't know anything else about the this children. This seems a little bit sus. The Not Forest of Symbols is a special training ground for us symbologists. Furthermore, its landscape and terrain make it a natural fortress difficult to penetrate. If it were simply a pack of bandits we were dealing with, it would take no more than a small team to dispatch them. But the lives of our children are at stake. We can ill afford to make any rash moves. They may be simple bandits, but they have proven at least strong enough to break the barrier protecting the Forest of Symbols. Their defeat would mean nothing if the children were to be caught in the carnage. It seems like there's nothing much we can do. We haven't been sitting here simply twiddling our thumbs. One of our search team has already discovered the location of the mm. bandit hideout. With that information in hand, all we need now is a way to rescue the children. I like that. I like walking oh, into a plan. So you're set then? We are. 
But as I mentioned earlier, we fear that to act by ourselves would prove to be insufficient. Fate has brought us a master swordsman. Mm -hmm. We thought we could ask him to join us in our rescue effort. Master swordsman? Diaz! Oh, hi. Reyna? You know this man, Reyna? Yes, we come from the same village. Small world. Is this Literally. the swordsman you're talking about? That he is. There are few fighting men in this world who haven't heard the name Dias Flack. You have nothing to worry about then. Dias is the strongest swordsman in the world. He could kill the whole group by himself. <laughs> so has Dias agreed to your request, father? He accepted the job. Said it would be a good warm-up for the liqueur armory contest. But there is one snag. I'm firmly against it. We know nothing of this stranger. I would rather we storm the forest ourselves than rely on the whims of outsiders. Oh Jeez. no, you can totally trust Diaz. I know him really well. He's an honest man and as a fighter, no one can even come close. That is a I prefer to have someone more experienced than you to speak on his behalf, young lady. This is our village's problem, it's true. Perhaps it is irresponsible of us to throw it on the shoulders of a passing swordsman. In that case, Father, I have the perfect solution to our problem. Would it be all right if we defeated the bandits for you? Celine, hey, yo. are you sure? Of course. It would be the perfect opportunity to display the fruits of my training. I don't care either way, but if you're kicking me off the team, I'm out of here. Don't come whining to me if that loudmouth girl screws everything up, got it? All right, Sephiroth Jr. Of all the rude things to say. Don't you think you're being the rude one here? Barging into the middle of things and disrupting all of our plans? I'm done here. If you need me, I'll be back at the inn. I can see his frustration, though. Still rude, though. It's been too long, Reyna. I hardly recognized you. Me too! What? You hardly recognized yourself? Father, are you seriously <laughs> going to leave everything to that rogue? We could rend that pathetic rabble of bandits to shreds by ourselves, and you know it. I know how you feel, Celine, but... Reyna... What is it, Reyna? I have a message from the Elder. He still wants you to rescue the children. Is that all he had to say? Hmm. Listen. I want you to fight along with the rest of us, all right? <sighs> what? Are they all down on their knees begging for me? Man, this guy is harsh. Yeesh. <laughs> I'm going to talk to Diaz. Reyna! What are you so surprised about? She already said they're from the same village, did she not? Okay, y'all. Yeah, but... Getting a little bit out of shape here. We haven't seen each other in two years. There's more to it than that, isn't there? Huh? All you want <laughs> to do is just... talk to Diaz? Celine, how scandalous. Well, I think so. I mean, we've got a lot to talk about.
Deus, eu quero que você entenda. Eu sei que você é um sword classe mundial, mas... Se você já sabe isso, então você também sabe que não há razão para nós lutarmos juntos. Você é tão edgy. Oh, thank you for the Why do you have to be so averse to other people? <laughs> If you think that makes you strong, you're wrong. The only thing shunning other people proves is that you're too scared to accept anyone. Ooh. You see me for the first time in years and you think it's the perfect time to start lecturing me? You've gotten a lot brattier than I remember you, Reyna. So edgy. I'm not the child <laughs> I used to be, Diaz. It's only been two years, you know. But... but I... <laughs> well, since it's my Aww. sister begging me, I guess I might as well do her a favor, at the very least. But if those other guys wind up getting in my way, I'm just going to pretend they don't exist and get on with it by myself. Thanks. You guys are adorable. Cecile says thanks too. Um C Cecile? Who? Wish I could hear her. Heaven's kind of far away. Oh. Oh no. Raina, you are something special. You, you ask a kid where his friends are right after an earthquake swallows the entire town. And now you're talking about talking to spirits of people. I worry for your mental health. Uh. Is my character mentally stable? I... I don't know. 